Hello again guys. So this is problem 51 of the second edition of probability and random processes for electrical engineering by Alberto Leon Garcia and in this question we are told that a die is tossed twice number of dots facing up is counted and noted in order of the occurrence. So let us find the value of probability of A such that B is given and the value of the probability of B such that A has been given. Okay, so what are A and B? So A is the event of total number of dots is even and B be the event both tosses had an even number of dots. Okay, so this is clearly the problem of the conditional probability in which we are given any of the probabilities of the event and we have to find out the probability of the other event. Okay, so uh, in these type of questions or in any uh, probability related question what are the steps so I have told you that initially you have to write the sample space okay so in our sample space here a die is tossed twice so in sample space here when a die is tossed twice so what would be the elements of the sample space so initially I can also get 1 1 I can get 1 2 okay I can get 1 3 first toss is 1 the second toss I am getting 3 dots okay 1 4 1 5 and 1 6 okay so this is uh, for the possibilities where only the first toss is having one dot facing up okay uh, similarly in our second row i can have two one two 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 three two four two five and 2 6 okay so uh, this is uh, about our the events where the first toss will have the 2 as the dots facing up okay uh, similarly we can get them from here to 6 1 6 2 up to 6 6 okay here these would be okay these would be my sample space and how many elements would i have here i will have 6 multiplied by 6 36 elements here okay uh, so this is the sample space so um, after it we have to write the elements which are in our set a so what is set a a basically is the event that the total number of dots is even. So what are the events here in which total number of dots are even? So let me write them here. So I can see that here 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the first event. Similarly here 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 5 is 6 which is the even number. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 4 is 6 this is 2 plus uh, 6 is 8 uh, similarly 2 plus 6 is again 8 6 plus 6 is 12 so these are all the even numbers which i can write the here so let me denote my event a with this red color okay so let me denote it or let me denote it with this blue color so a is basically 1 1 okay 1 3 and also 1 5 okay similarly i can have 2 2 2 4 and 2 6 similarly here sorry this is 3 1 3 3 and 3 5 okay uh, now 4 2 4 4 
फोर सिक्स दीज आर दी इवेंट्स वेयर द सम ऑफ बोथ द टॉसेज इज इवन ओके सिमिलरली हेयर फाइव वन फाइव थ्री एंड फाइव फाइव एंड इन द लास्ट वन हेयर वी विल हैव सिक्स टू सिक्स फोर एंड सिक्स सिक्स सो दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ माई इवेंट ए इन विच द समेशन ऑफ ईच ऑफ द इवेंट इज नाउ इवन सो जस्ट लाइक वन प्लस वन इज टू टेकिंग रैंडमली हेयर फोर प्लस टू इज सिक्स फाइव प्लस फाइव इज टेन सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर बेसिकली द इवन नंबर्स ओके सिमिलरली लेट मी मूव अप हेयर एंड वी हैव टू सी दैट वट इज the event b so b is the event where both tosses had an even number of dots so let me look at here that what are those events where both the tosses had an even number of dots so this one here 2 2 2 4 2 6 okay similarly 6 2 and 6 6 these are also the two tosses where each and every one has the even number of tosses so now writing it here and let me denote it with this b so b is now let me write first one that is 2 2 both are the even numbers 2 4 both even and 2 6 both are even again uh, similarly 4 2 okay 4 4 and 4 6 both are even and now the last one are 6 2 64 and 66 so this is the event b this is event a in which we have written all the elements okay after it what you have to do you have to find the probabilities of each of the event okay so let me now move down and let me write here the probability of a and the probability of b i have to calculate them again so what how to find out the probabilities so to finding out the probability we have to use the formula that the number of items in set a okay divided by the total number of elements in sample space okay so in order to find the probability of a what we have to do we have to count the number of items in set a so these are basically 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have total number of elements here are basically 18 and the total number of elements in the sample space are 36 so it would be 1 by 2 or 0.5 so the probability of event a is 0.5 similarly in order to find the probability of b what we have to do number of items or elements in set b divided by the total number of elements in sample space okay so let me now count the number of elements here so 1 2 3 and 3 multiplied by 3 are 9 writing them here so 9 divided by the elements in sample space uh, sample space are 36 so this would be 1 by 4 or 0.25 okay so these are the two probabilities which i have to find out now what is in the question we are asked to find the probability of a given b and also probability of b given a so let me use the formula here that the probability a given b so from 
the conditional probability I know that the probability of a given b is probability of a intersection b whole divided by the probability of b. Okay. Uh, why is it because I have to write this probability as the event which has already been occurred. So, b has already been occurred and I have to find out the value of, prob uh, of the event a. So, that is why I have to write this probability of b in the denominator, but what is the probability of a intersection b. So, to find out the probability of a intersection b, what I have to do, I have to find out the set which is a intersection b. So, what are the elements which are in both of A and B. Uh, so, let me see here. So, A this these are available in both of 2 ok 2 4 is also here 2 6 is also here ok. Uh, so, I can see that all the elements here are already in the set A. So, the A intersection B is basically b ok. We can very easily verify here that this is also here. So, now let me write the a intersection b is also b ok. So, the probability of a intersection b again the same formula that the number of elements in the a intersection b divided by the total number of elements in the sample space. So, as the number of elements in a intersection b are the same as that of the set b. Uh, so, it would be 9 divided by 36 and it would be 0 0.25 ok. So, now we have also calculated it now putting their values here in this formula. So, the probability of a given b is how much the probability of intersection b is calculated and that is 0 0.25. So, poor 0.25 and divided by the probability of b. So, let me look for probability of b and that is again 0 0.25. So, that is again 0.25, these two will cancel out and I will get here 1. So, what does it mean? It says that whenever B will occur, there is 100 percent chance that A will occur too. Okay? With the occurrence of the B there is a 100 percent chances that A will occur too because B is the event that the both tosses has the even number of dots ok. Uh, so, and A is the event that the summation of the dots is even and we can very easily see that the summation of these two events is also even. So, uh, we can see that the occurrence of the event B also says that A has also been occurred. Okay. So, that is the 100 percent chance of the occurrence of A when B has occurred. Uh, similarly, in order to find the probability of B given A that what is the probability of B when A has been occurred. So, that would again be probability of A intersection B while the event here has occurred is this A. So, the probability of A will be here. Okay. Now, writing their values the probability of A intersection B is 0 0.25 while the probability of A is how much? Let me see the probability of A is 0 0.5. So, here I will get 1 by 2 or 0.5. So, what does it mean? It means that 50 percent chance while 1 means 100 percent chance. So, uh, 50 percent chance means that if A has occurred there is 50 percent chance that B has occurred too because you can very easily see that half the elements here in A are basically B. So, whenever any event in A will occur you can very easily see that there is a 50 percent chance that B has occurred as well. Okay. So, that is it for today in which we have discussed a very important problem related to the conditional probability and with some more problems I will see you very soon. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.